Hi, Jeffrey Langlois, Langlois Vital Nutrition Center here in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Uh, these are delicious. I like uh, finding quick and easy things that taste good, giving a good source of protein or veggies or something. Uh, this is going to be salmon patties. Okay, so, whoops. Um, this is Trader Joe's. There's other brands here. Wild caught pink salmon. Now, this one has... Uh, the skin and the bones, though really you don't really. So the first thing you're gonna do is open the can just like you would a can of tuna, drain out all the liquid, and then I just put it right in the, um, right in here, ta-da, okay. Then we're going to add two eggs. Now, eggs came up on my food sensitivity test and I definitely do better without eggs. It's a very common sensitivity. Egg replacer is what we use. Um, so I've already mixed that up. Two tablespoons of egg replacer with four tablespoons of water. The instructions are right on the back. So that's what's going to hold the patties together. I'm going to then mix up. going to mash up the salmon. So the bones in there are just really soft bones and realize the bones are a good source of minerals and calcium. And in most countries around the world, they eat the whole fish. They don't let anything go to waste. So um, anyway, there we go. There is just the flaked up salmon and I will be back with you in just a moment. Okay, all right, so uh, as I mentioned, I got, the, I got the salmon ready here. Now, um, we're gonna put in, uh, and I'll have this posted online, I'm gonna put in the egg replacer, which is now gelled. That is our... And yeah, this may not be the most world's most perfect ingredients, but hey, we don't live in a perfect world, and I am definitely sensitive to eggs, potato starch, tapioca flour, baking soda, and psyllium. So not too bad. Um, also calls for some either, you can either use chopped red pepper, or I like, I prefer onion. Lisa likes red pepper. I like onions. Lisa's not here. I'm going to use chopped onions. Then we love this Herbs de Provence. Um, first ingredient is thyme, just in case you did not know it. Thyme is considered the most versatile, widely used spice in the world for cooking, all different types of cooking. So thyme, rose, uh, marjoram, savory, rosemary, basil, sage. So this is a really good, but there's lots of different variations of herbs de Provence. So I put that in there, the chopped onion. I put in some lemon zest and I also put in uh, a tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. So let's see, I've got the lemon juice, the lemon zest, the chopped onions, and then the last thing we're gonna use, a little salt and pepper, and then we're gonna put in a fourth of a cup of rolled oats. That's gonna kinda give it a little body, hold it together. These are um, gluten-free, organic, there's other brands out there, but uh, there's, it's a gluten-free sprouted oat. I get that at Fresh Time on Blue Mound. So it's a rolled oat, it's gluten-free. And this one's extra special because it's sprouted, but you don't need sprouted rolled oats. Um, but if you can find them, great. They're gonna be a little easier to digest. Once they've been sprouted, I'm gonna mix that all together. And then I'll meet you over at the frying pan in just a moment. Okay, then the next thing you're gonna do is spread them in the pan, flatten them out, little pads, put them in the oven. I think Lisa said, what's on the recipe here? Four, 400 for about 15 minutes. Then when they come out of the oven, I'm gonna fry them in the frying pan here to just brown them up with a little organic, unrefined sesame oil. 
Um, I'm going to put the heat at the lowest, very low setting. Um, heat and oil are not a good thing. Um, certainly ghee, lard, things like that hold up better to high heats. But since my liver doesn't do well with a lot of fat, and I would say 90% of my clients do, don't do well with high fat, since most people are slow oxidizers on their hair tests, you got to keep this low fat. So a little bit of sesame oil at a real low temperature, unrefined, tolerates the low heat. And if you keep it really low, you might be able to use a little olive oil, but don't use a high heat and then just brown them a little bit to give them a little extra crunchy or extra flavor. And they are delicious. So, um, okay. Um, there we have them. I'm going to take them out. Uh, it's about about maybe 10 minutes or so. If it's just, realize the salmon in the can is already cooked. So you do not have to worry. Um, the only thing that really needs to be cooked is the oats, as far as you know, eating raw oats. But that certainly won't kill you. But the the fish is the salmon in the cans is already cooked salmon. So you could eat it. You're not eating raw fish. Um, so you're just trying to get it to gel, make the flavors come out in the food, the onions, the spices. Um, I used about four scoops of, there's a little spoon with that herbs for brats. So it's about four teaspoons in there. Um, so, uh, all right. Thank you, hope that helps. Gives you a quick, easy, fast meal. Super nutritious, lots of omega-3s, good for your heart, your immune system, your skin. Um, your brain. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Your health is your wealth. Thank you.